Why would you put glue all over it? What's up everybody, it's your boy Big Drew here back on Sports Card Hub and today we're going to be taking a look at this box I purchased at a local Walgreens. This is the Football Collector's Edge, somewhat of a mystery box, one in four, contain a hit, look for randomly inserted cards, packs, parallels, autographs, and more. So yeah, it's not a very hefty box, you're talking about five bucks for one of these, I think it was four dollars and ninety-five cents. So it'll be interesting to see what's in it, but first we got to look at a little blast from the past some score football from 2012 okay now i purchased these in a pokemon card lot at a yard sale many years ago back when i still wasn't back into sports card collecting i stuck these in a box and forgot about them found them looking for something else the other day in a closet and well we got to see what's in these right what if there's something good we got reggie bush suited up in the miami dolphins there i love that that was a good acquisition while it lasted John Beeson. Come on, there's got to be something killer in here, right? Odds are, odds are good. Andy Dalton. Patrick Willis. I don't know if there's any inserts. I have no idea what's in here. I didn't even look at these. I remember finding them amongst the Pokemon cards in the shoebox, but I didn't look at these. LaDainian Tomlinson. Tony Romo and you know these cards aren't in immaculate condition we're not going to be able to create any any of these for a 10 or anything but they're not in bad condition either for being as old as they are and just having been shoved in a box Lawrence Timmons God, that guy right there you do not want to get hit by Lawrence Timmons oh my god the stories I can tell on that guy god he's a beast London Fletcher Sean McCoy Liking some of these names, man. This is some throwback action right here. Anquan Bolden. I mean, if nothing else, these are cool. I really want to add these to the collection now. Navarro Bowman. Jimmy Graham. Michael Huff. Jordy Nelson. No idea what kind of value we may be seeing on any of these. We got an Alshon Jeffrey rookie card. All right, so it's a name. It's a rookie. What are we potentially looking at on any of these in today's market? That's what I want to know. Scott Chandler. Brandon Gibson. Joe Adams rookie. I mean, any rookies, again, I mean, you know, preferably it's got to be some big name people, but at this point we just got to wonder what any of these are doing in the market today. No Sean Marino. If you don't know Sean, you don't know. Sh James Harrison. Jeremy Macklin. And, and real talk, no Sean Marino is just. <laughs> Amazing ball player, man. Again, this is this is a great a great throwback for me. Donald Brown, Jason Pierre Paul, Montario Hardesty, Desmond Briscoe, Tom Brady, and a Terrell Suggs complete players card. Okay, so backs of these look good I've always liked the score product so again you can bet I was really stoked when I pulled these out of the box I was looking through we got a numbers game QB rating Aaron Rodgers card that's interesting and a Nick Perry rookie so yeah got a couple of rookie cards so far Tavares Jackson I like Tavares Jackson. Robert Meacham. Dallas Clark. Larry Fitzgerald. Brian Cushing. Got another rookie coming up here. Mercedes Lewis. Danny Cole. Rookie. Okay. Again, we're pulling some rookies out of the stack. 
Reggie Wayne. Maurice Jones Drew. And we got a LaShawn McCoy in the zone card. That's a cool card. Backs on these look good. This is really killer. We got a Stephen Hill rookie. Very cool. And we got a hot rookies, Ryan Broyles, Detroit Lions. Yeah, you just you don't see these every day, I'm telling you. Ed Reed, Steve Johnson, Christian Ponder. And we'll end it with a Miami Dolphin, Cameron Wake. Fantastic. Now it's time to get this Collector's Edge football box opened up. Let's see what's in here. One and four contain a hit. I don't know. Are we feeling lucky today? Why would you put glue all over it? Knowing what this has to contain. I don't know. Alright, so this is interesting if it's nothing else. This is worth $5 just for a look. We got a pack in here. University of Notre Dame Trading Cards, first edition. <laughs> okay. Thanks. So, yeah, this is some repackaged crap. So, we got a Topps Anthony Barr here, and this looks to be a 2015 card. And if nothing else, we're going to get some cards from some years that I wasn't collecting, so that's kind of cool. We got a Tyler Johnson Leaf Rookie, and I believe it's a red parallel, unless they were just red at that point. But now that this, yeah, this is this year, this is 2020, so yeah, that's, that's a parallel. We got a Sage Premier Draft Dalen Hayes Rookie. You know, those don't feel as bad of cardstock as some of the reviews I've read. We're trying to make them out to sound. You can usually get Sage, uh, at least the low series blaster boxes on Target right now for about 20 bucks when you want them. I think they're sold out right now, but they've been in stock. Dwayne Eskridge, wide receiver rookie. A next level Kyle Trask. Next level Jamie Newman. So we're getting some Sage premiere here and didn't even know we were going to get it. Cameron McGrone, rookie. Here's some Don Russ now. Mike Glennon. Interesting. 2017 Don Russ. We got a Jake Elliott 2017 rookie. Premier draft hit. What is going on here? We got a 1989 throwback here. James Brooks Tops card. Again, it's cool just to look at if nothing else. I mean, for five bucks. I mean, I'm already happy with the purchase just having seen what I've seen being back into collecting again. This is cool. We got an upper deck Chris Cooley, Utah State. This is 2000. 15. Huh. How about that? Jason Winrow. Okay, well, that's one way to pull an auto. We got a Jason Winrow with a number written on it 3637 Authentic Signature. Now, if this was worth anything, I don't think it would be in this box, but. It's still pretty cool though, right? Not only do I have no idea what type of card this is, it's like they wrote in the number to it. This might have been signed by the cashier at Walgreens, I don't know. <laughs> you can actually see they got some ink here on, on the back of the card from the marker. So, just wild. The official NFL card, Jason Buck. My goodness, pro set. 1989. 
kicking it old school like an old fool. And again, I don't hate seeing some old football cards. My old collection got stolen. That's part of what I just kind of eased me out of card collecting at that point. Values were already plummeting, and I was like, man, just, oh well, I'm not going to buy it all back. Skip McClendon on an old score card. 1990. Jeff Donaldson. Pro set. Business in the front, party in the back. 1990. Super Bowl V card. Interesting. Picture of the ring on the back. Getting into some 1991. We're definitely hugging on that early 90s there on some of these. Pro Set Platinum. Eric Metcalf. Big Jeff Jager. Blair Bush. 1988 Tops. David Wyman, NFL Pro Set. I'm not familiar with this product. Even back then, I don't remember seeing these. Even giving the officials some cards. <laughs> okay. Ernest Biner. Big Bad Herman Hurd. Those throwback colors. That's so 90s. Love it. We got a Scott Case Upper Deck. Atlanta Falcons. <clears throat> and we got a Vernon Davis, Don Russ. It's like a 2018. So again, cards from all kind of series. None of which I had. And this is probably straight up horse dookie here, but you know, whatever. Let's open it. We got it. Yeah. Toilet paper tube card stock, loving that. <laughs> Jim Browner, Alan Pinkett, Reggie Ho. Yeah, this is probably not the most exciting thing you'll ever see open on this platform, but it's in there. We had to open it. Yeah, so no idea what we were getting there. For more information, hmm. No, I don't think I need any more information, but that was it. That was the box. Well, honestly, that's going to do it. I mean, we got an auto of sorts out of that box, and that's about the only thing out of everything that we looked at today that was even worth dog dookie. And it's hard to say how long you'd be sitting on something like this waiting just to get a few bucks out of it. So really, as cool as all these are for as old school as they are, I'm just gonna hold on to them. And I don't really feel like we took a loss there at five bucks. It just wasn't a game, right? But it was cool to look back at all those old cards. I was really just collecting baseball back in the day, so wasn't really collecting football. It was nice to get a look at some of the older year models on some of the different brands that we saw. And it was great to find that uh, 2012 score pile, because you know, None of those really ended up being worth much either, it doesn't look like, but still, cool to have, right? Didn't even know I had it, so adding all that to the collection. Hope you liked what you saw here today. Hope you're going to drop a like on this video, and if you haven't already done so, I hope you're going to subscribe to Sports Card Hub, be a part of what we're doing here. Smack that notification bell, so you're always the first to know when there's new uploads of pack rips, of hunting vids, so much more coming your way on the Hub very soon. Your boy Big Drew here signing out for this episode, and I will see each and every one of you again on the next one.